What is good guys? Welcome back to another video. You guessed it, we are kicking off with a Waitrose order. This one is going quite far, but I think it's paying around a fiver. It was a little bit quiet when I started, so I thought, ah, I might as well just take it. I think it's going to like the Eastern Road, which is, yeah, quite far from here. The order is not actually that big, but a pate, some hot cross buns. Hello. Got 3955? Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. All right, I'll be careful. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely a far one, 2.7 miles, wow. It is quite a rarity to just get the one bag of Waitrose. I feel quite lucky because obviously I'm not on the motorbike today. Because when I'm on the V Moto, I don't have to worry about like certain orders being really heavy. Whereas I've got the delivery bag on my back today, meaning I'm going to take all the force of everything I'm carrying. So hopefully not too many supermarket jobs today. That would be nice. Hiya. And do you have the code, please? Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you. Cheers. All right, that is the first one in. I think it was paying like 4.50. Only took me 15 minutes. Lovely, friendly customer as well. It's saying not busy on Deliveroo and there's no hotspots on Uber right now. So I'm a little bit apprehensive, but I'm sure that we'll, it'll pick up. It's 11.55 now, so, you know, we're getting into that lunch hour. I'm hoping to have a really good hour. I've got gym at two o'clock. So we've got a couple hours to make some money. All right, next order is in guys, about 10 minutes later from Wagamama. Uh, it's paying £4.34 and it's not too far from, uh, from the Nando's. No, Nando's, Wagamama. It's because I just rejected a really stupid Nando's order. <laughs> got it stuck in my head. Oh, I've not picked up from uh, Gunwharf in a while, it feels like. I feel like I almost tried to avoid it now with the motorbike because it's just a bit long. Like, Gunmorph pickups were bad enough uh, on the e-bike. You know, at least you could kind of get a little bit through the door, but now it's just like, you have to park all the way outside and it's just a bit inconvenient. 1.2 miles, so the pickup is a little bit far. That is an interesting car. What are they? Are they like restored army vehicles? Like, you see them every now and again in Portsmouth. I don't know if it's something like Navy related. Obviously, Portsmouth is like a huge naval town. I think some people call it like, the Navy capital of England, or the UK rather. But it's nice when you see some interesting whips around the city. It is another absolutely stunning day in Portsmouth today. Weather is 15 again. Spinnaker Tower's looking amazing. I appreciate that some of you might prefer me doing these nighttime videos, but honestly, like, come on, when it's like this, this doesn't feel like work. I'm just being paid to ride my bike in the sun. <laughs> doesn't get any better than that. Okay, what are we picking up? One prawn fire, uh, prawn fire cracker curry. God, that's a tongue twister. Double up on the prawns. <laughs> nice. Prawn fire cracker curry. God, I couldn't say that more than once. Hello. Hi. Yeah, I got eight two two three, please. Nice one, thank you. Yeah, I can, um, I can blur you out if you want, though, no, if you don't want to be in it. No, it's your voice, and I was like, I recognise that. Oh, really? Uh, <laughs> so you just went here last summer, and I thought what the girl was in it. She was really? manager back then. Oh, really? So I said to her, she was like, mate, that's my lot. I'm like, how's it going? Fair enough. Oh, thanks for watching them. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, you too. Thanks. It's funny, it never gets old, like, being recognised for making these videos. But I love it at the same time. As, <laughs> I think in the beginning, I was a bit like, ooh, it's a bit weird. Like strangers know me, but nah, it's nice. I like it when people actually enjoy the stuff I'm making. Oh mate, come on. This is why I deliver it in the daytime at the moment. Look at that. Unreal. Nice, it's only six minutes 0 0.9 for this one. I think it was paying over like 450, that's not bad. Like, I still don't get how these companies like Uber Eats, Deliveroo, Just Eat, I don't know how they work out the fees because they often don't make sense. Like, there's not even a tip on this order, like, that was the base fare. But then I've done, like, triple the distance for the same money on the last job. Like, I just want to know how their algorithm works, but it's impossible. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad this is a bit of a shorter order. This one's only two minutes now. I got sent, like, a crazy £11 double earlier, 
and I think it honestly might have taken me an hour, so I'm really glad I declined that. Just want to do like lots of smaller jobs. Depends, if it's quiet, I'm happy to do the, the big, like larger paying ones, but today it's, it's feeling busy. I'm getting a lot of orders coming through, so. Now we're into the rush. We've got a 457 bone, which is just in front of me, 200 yards away, and the destination is not too far after that. Let's catch this green light and head to Seven Bone. I love picking up from Seven Bone because a lot of their customers, they do leave tips, but I don't want to be presumptuous because maybe this one hasn't. Hey, 498. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Guys, I was wrong about two things. This job is actually two and a half miles. It's massive, but they have left a two pound tip. So let's go. So that is so sick. I want one. I always find it so alarming when people do just cross the road without even, not even a quick check. Like, what are you doing? There's so many Teslas and like e-bikes and e-mopeds on the road now. Like you're just risking yourself for literally no reason. We have got 11 minutes to finish this job. And now that we got that two pound tip, I think it's now paying 650. 650 for 2.5 miles, that is pretty much my limit. So the tip coming through on that one really helped. Really, really helped. Oh, I love cutting all this traffic up. Such a satisfying feeling. That is hands down the best part about owning an e-bike or a moped, electric moped, whatever it is. It's just the fact that you don't have to be stuck in a stuffy car, like sat at red lights, or in a queue for a red light even, it's even worse. How mad is that that I called the Seven Bone tip as well? That's the only tip I've had today, and I just knew that it was gonna come from Seven Bone. Like, all the customers are just, they're nice. But like, Seven Bone's got like, decent clientele to them. This job is made very easy though, not by the luck that I get, but it is also the bike that I use. This is the Hemiway Zebra, and if you guys check out the description, there is a code for you. You can get this bike even cheaper. It's an absolute beast. Like, I've, I've tested e-bikes, I've used quite a few now. Uh, I was a push bike person back in the early days, if you watched my first few vids. But no, this is my favorite e-bike that I've used so far. I absolutely love it. And the code will be down below for you. Hey, uh, do you have the code please? Yeah, 74. 74, cheers, have a good day. Today is going far too well. I honestly, that is a sick bike. That is cool. I'm seeing lots of cool vehicles today. But yeah, guys, I've been online for 58 minutes. I made 15 pounds and 30 pence. I'm just, I can't understand it. I was honestly convinced as soon as the weather became nice, you know, that's it, channel's done, delivery's dead, everyone's at the beach. Well, you know, at the beach in Portsmouth anyway. I don't know what you Londoners do. Do you like find a field to sit on or something? <laughs> I don't know, but it's just going way too well. I've still got like another hour and a half before I got to go gym as well. So this is, yeah, unreal. I love like making money before I start my day. It's almost like I'm starting my day before starting my day. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because that was such a good start to the shift, I don't mind taking a little break now. So I just want to say a huge thank you to Shane, who's an absolute legend of this channel. He bought me five coffees all the way back in January, and I'm so sorry that it took me this long to reply. Uh, he says, all the best from an ex-Pompey lad now, living on the Isle of Lewis, which I believe is one of those like small islands at the top of Scotland. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go buy five Red Bulls. I'm gonna try and get five different ones if they have it. But yeah, thank you so much, Shane. You're an absolute legend. Thank you for the support. I'm gonna go to this petrol station and get these drinks. All right, we're gonna go one coconut, juneberry, watermelon, tropical, and apricot. There you go, guys, five Red Bulls. Thank you, Shane. Hey, just those five uh, drinks, please. Cheers, thank you. I must look like an absolute maniac buying five Red Bulls at this time of day. Oh, guys, would you look at that? As soon as I bought the drinks, I got the order from Positive Eats, and that is very minimal distance. We're gonna take that 0.3 miles. Let's get it. I've been picking up a lot from this Positive Eats place. I've never really done it before, but yeah, it seems to be popping. Maybe they're the new spot in Pompey. Hiya. 
Uh, I just came for one. It's giving me another one now, actually. Uh, yeah, I got 7004-2737. Yeah, I'll just wait outside with my bike. I'll be two secs. I'm just waiting for a delivery, mate. It's all good. Uh, I've got two. Uh, 7004. This second order that I'm waiting for looks wild. It's a superfood wrap. Balsamic tomatoes, crispy fried onions, cucumber, feta cheese, pickled red onions, honey mustard, roasted salmon, and smashed avocado with a side of sea moss. That sounds unreal to be fair. Might have to try this place. Thank you very much. Uh, I regret waiting so long. I think they were a bit too busy in that positive eats, which, you know, it's not a bad thing. It means they're, uh, means they're doing well. This first customer is two minutes away, actually, which is decent. I think they added on another three pounds for the second order, so the double is now paying six pounds and six pence, I believe. We got eight minutes to the next one. It's not the worst job in the world, to be honest. I just can't remember how long I was actually waiting inside there. <laughs> oh yeah, why is that fed in such a rush? It's not even got his lights on. And then he's in the wrong lane. What is this guy playing at? <laughs> is it Alex? Yeah. Do you have the pin number, please? 52. 52. Cheers, have a good day. All right, there is another order coming in from Kokoro 315. It's not paying very much, but it's literally around the corner, actually. That is super easy. <laughs> that is a cycle lane, not a human lane. Yeah, I think this one must be being delivered to, like, somebody's work because, yeah, it's really, really close. I've not been to town in the day in ages. It's actually popping at the moment. Got two five eight one. Cool, thanks. Yeah, I haven't even left town yet and it's given me the option to click arrived. I'm just trying to work out exactly where it is, though. Oh, you ordered a food door? No, no. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a student block here. It's really weird. Do you have the code, please? Uh, 24. 24. All right, thank you. Have a good day. You Cheers. All right, guys, I'm pretty happy with that. I've got to go to the gym now. Uh, I made £24.51, all on delivery today, which was a nice change because I've been doing a lot of Uber Eats and it's always good to mix it up. I worked for a total of 110 minutes today. We'll times that by 60, meaning I made £13.36 an hour. I'll tell you what, these daytime shifts, they just keep surprising me. I'm not sure why they're paying so much. Like, all these people are outside of the house, but it still is busy. I'm not complaining, I actually love it. I'm gonna be reviewing a few more e-bikes on the channel soon, which I'm really looking forward to, a couple different brands. So I hope you guys are subscribed so you can see those vids. It's time for me to go lift some weights. I hope you enjoyed this one. Give it a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new around here. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.